Hi friends, see our next topic, Market Demand Schedule and Market Demand Curve. In the video, continuation. See, we have already discussed demand schedule in which we manage it, individual demand schedule as well as individual demand curve. Our video watch is either in a session, you part of Ghana and Padolo, and now you can link to this topic. See, University syllabus pragaram, namada vishayathile, shuvara aite expect ayam batu na area. Question paper lindau, five mark aito, S aito, two mark aito, namak expect ayam. Right. See, ye topic in the background and the varay na the demand schedule. Demand schedule, you know, tabula representation of the law of demand and inverse relationship between price of the product and its quantity demanded. That is, when price increases, demand will be decreased. Then the reverse is applicable. Right? When price decreases, its quantity demand will be increased. Right. This demand schedule is the diagrammatic representation of the demand curve. Demand curve will, you know, that includes both individual demand curve and market demand curve. Okay. I don't have any details. I don't have any details. I don't have any Now, we know what is the law of demand. Right. The individual demand curve and the market demand curve. Similarly, what is the difference between market demand schedule and market demand curve? Right. Now, we have a question in the first place. The market demand curve is a place where it is a place where you know, buyers and sellers contact with each other to buy or to sell something. What is the place? That is the place, area. See, virtual market and online market. Isn't it? In the retail market, wholesale market, in the online platform, virtual market. So, market, you know, it is a place where you know, buyers and sellers are there to They actually contact with each other to exchange goods and services or to sell or to buy something. Vangalum will kill a kite and a rakana. We area on it, number and the very combolum and the very that is market. Right. Then I will tell you an example over here. Listen very carefully. See, suppose uh, this is a market. Okay. And we can see five buyers, consumers A, B, C, D, E. Right. Okay. Suppose you are taking only the quantity demand from A based on the given price levels during a given period of time okay ee kambolathile a ennu parayunna buyer ude demand trend or a set of prices undu aa prices ile a ennu parayunna vyakti demand cheyina product kaanikkanengil adu endana that is you know individual demand schedule aanu aa product oru table format ile or a uh, schedule light to Ghani 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 Individual Demand Schedule Okay Now what is Market Demand Schedule Market Demand Schedule you know That will take all the buyers in a market That is you know The summation of all the demands from all buyers of a market Kambola Thilala Muruvan Ubabokta Kalude Consumers or buyers in the Matam demand edukuga yanangil, other or a table format in the yanangil, that is, you know, market demand schedule. That also represents, you know, an inverse relationship between price of the product and the quantity demanded. That is, you know, market demand. That is, law of demand. Right. Other things remaining the same, Ceteris Paribus are applicable on it. Here we are considering, you know, price and A and the quantity demand of the product. See, this is, you know, market demand schedule. Listen very carefully. You know, market demand schedule is a tabulation. See, tabulation or table format of the quantity of a good that all consumers in a market that is the key word all consumers in a market will purchase at a given price that is market demand schedule shows prices and quantity demand of the product very simple point here we sum the quantities demanded by each consumer at a particular price what is the meaning here you know 
In order to obtain market demand schedule, we need to sum up A plus B plus C plus D plus E. Then you will get total quantity demand of the product in a market at a given price. This is, you know, market demand schedule. Simple point, right? Here I would like to represent a hypothetical demand schedule. Listen very carefully. Suppose uh, I am taking, you know, number example symbol comedy or market le rand buyers on another. Suppose either can buyers in a pair A and B. Right. See, this is the market demand schedule. Yan China is market demand schedule. Symbol C price. Okay. Suppose uh, the price is like this one, two, three. 4, 5. Simple example. Quantity demanded. Quantity demand that is of A. A and the number of the market. We have to the example simple. Okay. Quantity demand by A. See, uh, this is the quantity 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. Uriruba, Agumbo, A and the buyer. Demand in the product is 10 units. Villa Godumbo, 8 hour, then 3 hour, 6 hour, 4 hour, 4 hour, 5 hour, 2 hour. Inverse relationship between price and quantity demand. This is a particular individual day, it is an individual demand schedule. But we are taking, you know, market demand schedule. So we need to uh, sum A and B and their quantity demand, right? So quantity demand of B, right? Then quantity demand of B is like this 15, 12, 9, 6, and 3. Okay. Right. See, when price is 1, demand of A is unit 10 units, but demand from B is 15. And like this. Okay, in a market demand schedule, quantity demand of A plus quantity demand of B. That means, one ruba will A ten and B ten plus fifteen is equal to twenty five. Okay, but I get more than English. I think the market demand curve, market demand schedule, get to me. It is very helpful for prediction and forecasting. Sellers in a our products in the optimal price. Karnan the unreasonable item prices at the other our sales in a body profit to go. Then, while at a lower level prices at the other and they, they will face losses, you know, it is really very important. So, market demand, demand to trend, that is the pulse, then the product in a that is the villa set to say in the two good the useful item technique on the market demand schedule market demand curve. Now, we can construct a Market demand schedule by adding the demand of A and the demand of B. Because the market will end where I am. We assume that it is okay, right? Market demand schedule. We can add one more column, and this is you know market demand. Market demand, you know, we will get by adding the demand of A and the demand of B. That means you know ten. Are I? Villa Uri Dubai Amboli and the demand plus demand of B at price one it is 15. So total is 25. Okay. Then similarly, Villa Randa Gumbol demand for that we can see 8 plus 12 is equal to 20. Then Villa Moon Agumbol, you know the demand of A is 6, but demand of B is 9, then total is 15. Then again, you know, at 4. Demand of A is 4 and the demand of uh, B is 6. Then we will get 10. Then at the price 5, you know, again, you know, quantity demand declined to 2. That by A and in the case of B, the demand is only 3. Then we will get market demand is 5. See, about different prices during a given period, market demand we can see. That means when price increases, here, you know, quantity demand is decreasing. That is the 
market demand schedule very simple point that is market demand schedule is a tabulation of the quantity of a good that all consumers in a market will purchase at a given price now market demand curve that is also very simple market demand curve you know it is the diagrammatic representation of the market demand schedule either individual demand curve is the diagrammatic representation of the individual demand schedule that actually reflects the law of demand and inverse relationship between price of the product and its quantity demanded the repeat either that is the crux of the point never forget right so we can simply say market demand curve is the summation is the summation of all the individual demand curves in a given market market demand schedule kittan endha cheyidathu individual demand schedule sum cheyidu adinde add cheyidu you will get market demand schedule similarly you will get market demand curve by adding all the individual demand curves in a market right very simple point that is market demand curve shows the quantity demanded of the good by all individuals at varying price points so i am going to represent a market demand curve like this it is also very simple to draw a market demand curve listen very carefully market demand curve is derived from market demand schedule so we needed to draw the individual demand curve of a see this is the individual demand curve of a a and what is the consumer than o x and y axis you know o x axis you know quantity demand here you know price of the product now we can see uh, prices 1 2 3 4 and 5 quantity demand here you can see 2 4 6 8 and 10 then you will get uh, the demand like this you know 10 here you know 8 here you know 6 I'm not like a detail item draw say the tender you can refer uh, the previous videos right and if we can connect the points this is the demand curve of a right now we can construct the individual demand curve of B. Okay, right? Same. So this is where measurement of corrected cut on. Then you will see clear right to correct the demand curve of the C O X and Y. See here uh, we can take quantity demands 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15. Here in the price is same. This is quantity demand. Now here you know price is one. Price is one now quantity uh, demand A demand is the 10 now. B and the consumer demand A the price one now. See. Correct. It is 15. Okay. Then price 2 Agumbo. Here uh, quantity demand from A is 8. But here you know. Quantity demand of B it is okay. This is the point when price is two. Then price is three here you know six I don't know but uh, uh, in the case of uh, B it is nine okay. Can the villa kudumbo in the in the quantity demand then four you would have four I don't know. See, but here we can see four aumbo B ke verinda threna six ana then five aumbo ibade two a irno ek uh, see in the case of B it is interesting it is three then we can connect the point okay linear demand equation learn function learn vera straight line ke threna demand curve of B isn't it here you know demand curve of A. Now you know you will get market demand curve by just adding A plus B. A and what is the individual demand curve. B and what is the individual demand curve in England. Add that you will get market demand curve. Okay. Now we just in the America. 
market demand curve or y axis vertical axis we can see price horizontal axis we can see quantity demand again you know price is 1 2 3 4 5 here the quantity demand see 5 10 15 20 25 but yeah measurement uh, one centimeter uh, represent in the five one then I will define say in the price one now price one now 10 plus 15 it is 25 okay then we will get 25 then price is to uh, it become 20 is a learning and then a market the Ghanika but it's simply where it's a time of the three hour book see 15 okay it is uh, 15 and four it becomes It become 10 then uh, at price 5 it becomes 5 again you you can just connect the points you will get market demand curve so we can simply say market demand is the summation of all the individual demand curves in a given market okay simple point on two mark so they can just a downward sloping demand curve virus tamari okay so this topic is over make revisions and practice yourself curve ka correct the virus it and nobody come simple point on the virus skip a year the code the easy overconfidence and over the nalari the hard work here revision that the door in angle key concept minus the party um nalari share it in the maximum market score a full market score a okay have a nice day all the best thank you